Gold Green. I hope that today has gone well for you. Today is Sunday, September the 8th, 2024. It is about 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I hope you all are doing well. I hope you all are having a great weekend. I hope it's been a fun and productive weekend for you. As for me, I'm doing good myself. I actually just got done um, going for a bike ride at the park. And so, you know, like I said, I'm trying to get back into riding bikes more. Um, I used to do it a lot back in the day, but I don't know why I kind of got out of it. Um, and so... You know, the bike I had, I mean, it's a Walmart bike. Um, it, it's uh, it's it's holding up well for now. It's holding up well. Um, I know people say um, Walmart is not the best place to um, buy a bicycle. But for me, in my situation, I didn't really want to spend a whole lot on a bike when I'm just trying to get back into the hobby I think once you know I'm well immersed into the hobby I probably like buy a more expensive bike but um, I probably do a review on the bike within the next like few weeks or so um, just telling y'all what I think of it um I can't even think of what the bike is called. No, it's called a Hyper Urban. I think that's what it's called. But yeah, I'm going I'm to do a review on it um, sooner or later. But, um, you know, I, I rode it at the park. And I liked it. I really did. Um, I rode about... I wasn't keeping track, but I know how long the um, the bike trail is and so I would estimate I rode between uh probably about eight to ten miles but that's just a rough estimate I could be wrong but you know for somebody just getting back into biking I think um that's pretty good right and so you know it's not as hot out. It's, um, you know, it feels good. I mean, it's still kind of warm, but, you know, like I said, we're in that transitional phase where it's like not as hot outside. And so, really been enjoying that. But, um, I wanted to, um, talk about some of the reasons why you should, you know, bike more, if it's possible, right, if it's possible, you know, if you live in a city that has lots of bike trails, bike paths along roads, you know, these are things to consider, right, and so first we'll talk about the um, health benefits of riding a bicycle, right? So, of course, this can really help in um, weight loss, right? If you're somebody who's overweight or obese, uh, this could help, you know, aid in, you know, helping you lose weight, right? Because you're burning calories, um, Another thing it can help with is uh, leg strength because, you know, obviously you're using your legs to pedal, uh, really working out your leg muscles can help with your um, core strength as well. It also can help with your uh, flexibility, right? Um, biking can also um, improve your bone strength. 
hiking can also improve your mental health, right? By releasing endorphins, you know, they help you, you know, calm down, feel good, right? Relax. So, not only does biking help with the physical, it can potentially help with the mental as well. And that's something to really think about. You know, and that's why I would say, hey, go, go, uh, go out biking once, right? You live in a city with bike paths, right? Even if you don't want to buy a bicycle, right? You can, I mean, there are certain cities where you can rent a bicycle, you know, that's, I mean, that's an option. Now, Houston had a program where you can rent a bicycle, but it's, um, it's been discontinued. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to, um, um, open that program back up where you can like rent bicycles and stuff but um yeah in Houston they uh they had that but it's been uh discontinued um but I know in other cities they have the um the bike rental thing as well and some of them have like a um you know like a membership pass and all that you know cause of course you have your um your single use fee that you have to pay, but then you can pay like a membership fee or, well, I don't know, like a monthly pass or some, something of that sort to where you can just kind of use it, right? As long as you're paying that fee. And that can potentially be an option if you're somebody who likes to ride bikes but you don't want to necessarily go out and purchase one just yet, right? Um, they can all, um, getting back to the health benefits, right? Biking can also improve cardiovascular health. It's good for the heart, good for the lungs, right? It reduces blood fat levels. It's good for your immune system, right, can also help to prevent arthritis, right, I mean, this is amazing, you know, some of the health benefits that biking has, and there's more, it's just, these are all the ones that I wrote down, but, I mean, it's amazing what biking can do for us, Right. There's so many health benefits, right, to biking. Um, <laughs> there's also um, other reasons biking, and this is more along the lines of somebody who lives in a bike friendly city where they have like bike paths everywhere and you know it's easy to get around with a bike um see in Houston they don't have very many like bike paths compared to like other cities um and so it's kind of hard you know if you live in like the Houston area to do this you know you kind of need a car here unless you want to rely on the um the metro bus but um you know if you live in a city that is bike friendly um consider 
biking to work if you can consider biking to the grocery store if you can consider just biking everywhere if it's possible right because if if you're able to do this then biking for you is going to um, give you the option to where you could possibly get rid of your car right and be in, pos in a position to where if you need to drive somewhere you'll just rent a car but most of what you do in your everyday life or most of where you go in your everyday life you just bike to work groceries shopping etc you just bike there because you live in a city that is bike friendly and for you it's gonna be a lot cheaper right because of the bike all you pay for is maintenance and bike maintenance is going to be cheaper than car maintenance right uh, with a bike, you're not required to pay for insurance, registration, gas, a um, a note like you would with a car. I mean, unless you finance a bike, I don't know why somebody would do that. But um, but um, you're not gonna have a bike note like you would with a car. Um, and so all these different costs that you have to pay for with a car, you're not going to, um, you know, you know, you're not going to have to um, deal with that cost when it comes to biking, right? And so. Um, you know that that's just something to uh to think about right that's something to think about um and then of course uh with a bike you're not gonna have to deal with the stress of you know sitting in traffic jams during rush hour and this more so this more so applies to somebody who bikes to work your commute is going to be a lot less stressful because you're not going to be sitting in rush hour traffic. You're not going to have to deal with a bunch of people, you know, rushing and doing crazy stuff, trying to, you know, go to and from work because we know people rush to and from work. But with a bike, you really don't have to deal with that. And then, of course, you have the health benefits, right? And then it's cheaper. So if you're somebody in a bike friendly city, you are at a major advantage. Unless your job is like right off the freeway or something like that or somewhere where there's no bike path nearby or bike trail, then, you know, that's, you know, but, um, also biking is better for the environment. It's a lot better than your typical internal combustion engine car that is polluting the air right polluting the environment driving in general it's not good for the environment but we live in a system where we kind of have to do that because of the invention of cars and roads and how these cities are all designed with roads and and you, you know reason why a car was even invented in the first place is because we as humans we want the most for the least amount of effort that's the whole reason a car was invented we want the most for the least amount of effort what takes more effort right driving or biking biking is going to take more effort and then that part where we want the most we want basically in that sense, we want to get places faster, right? And, um, you know, riding a horse is going to be a lot slower 
than driving a car. And then you still don't have to really put in effort. All you're doing is pressing an accelerator and a brake. You know. And then putting a car in different gears. You know. So. That's the whole reason a car was invented in the first place. You know. They didn't have the environment in mind. When they invented cars. And they invented these cities. In a way to where you need a car. Right. Although there's some cities that are bike friendly. Um. Or that, ha you know, they have, like, good, you know, public transit systems. But, um, yeah, that's, um, that's kind of my reasons as to why it's a lot better to bike. And why you should get into biking if you can. You know, if you're not, if you're not in an area where it's very bike friendly... At least ride around at your local park or something like that. Find a bike trail, ride around, right? You know, biking is fun. It is fun. Um, it's relaxing. It relieves your stress, right? You know, and so. Yeah, um, that's about it for this video. I do thank you all for watching.